All right, hey again, Dad. Uh, this is Cody, uh, and this is Chloe, and we're going to actually show you how to burp a baby. As you can see, uh, well, we're actually a little less than halfway through her four-ounce bottle. I guess you can see we're at two ounces. Uh, she normally drinks a four-ounce bottle. So, whenever you burp a baby, sometimes they're going to get a little cranky because they're hungry and all they want to do is eat, 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 but they'll get over it, you know, sooner or later. So. Alright, in this particular case, Chloe's only two months old, well, crap, a lot of times, they'll just <laughs> burp without you even doing anything. But just so you know what to do, here's what you would do. Alright, her, she can't hold her head up yet, so you want to kind of give her, you know, head and neck support. The easy way for me to burp her, and this is for fathers that have huge hands that can actually support the whole front half of a baby, you want to sit her on your lap and you want to go ahead and lean her forward and hold her cheeks. You don't want to hold her by the neck or choke or anything like that. You want to hold her by the cheeks. When you hold her by the cheeks, you let her body weight lean forward. What you're going to do is you're just going to pat her back. Now, you don't want to do it too hard, but you don't want to do it nice and soft because that's not going to get anything done. You want to do it nice and firm so that you can actually work those bubbles up. Now, another helpful hint would be uh, every once in a while, you can actually go ahead and bounce her on your on your knee like that, and that'll help work the bubbles to the top also. Uh, so keep going at, you know, taking a pause between each, you know, alternating each time. Uh, now, for some of you fathers that are a little more, you know, a little too masculine and scared you're going to crush your baby, uh, the other easy way to do it, and this was the way I like to do it at first because she was only six pounds when she was born, so this is how I burped her. Uh, but what you want to do is you want to prop her on your shoulder, and here if you can get from this side. I'm going to prop on your shoulder to where about the midsection of her body is resting on your shoulder. You want to have her lean over a little bit and what you want to do is just pack her back. Now, a lot of times, especially when they're little and they can't hold their head up like she can, they like to just rest, up, rest back there. So um, don't worry, you're not hurting her. She can breathe. She's just fine. Uh, but just keep patting and patting and patting. Sometimes it will take even up to 15 minutes to burp them, but keep in mind eventually they will. And it's the best thing to do, especially whenever you want to go to sleep. You know, if you forget to burp her and she has gas trapped down there, trust me, you're going to know it and you're not going to get any sleep until she gets it out. So it's best to do it while you're feeding her than to wait till the last minute or not do it at all because you're just going to make more trouble for yourself in the end. Uh, but once you finish burping her. Just go ahead and continue giving her bottle. And when she finishes it, you just go ahead and do the same thing again in the end. Uh, if you have any questions, just email us at www.hueycody at yahoo.com. That's H-U-G-H-E-Y-C-O-T-E-Y at yahoo.com.